Hi, I'm Annie Gabrielli, and you're watching Hollywire. Hey, Hollywire, we have Annie Gabrielli in the studio with us today. Hi. Hello, how are you? I am very good. I'm so happy to be here. All right, let's play a game. My weirdest guilty pleasure is... Oh, I think I, I like keeping up with the Kardashians. <laughs> <laughs> Who doesn't see a great answer? It's fun. I watch it in the airplane, and I'm always like, people are staring at me in the plane watching the Kardashians. And it's fun. Okay. <gasps> My worst date was when. Okay, that that's gonna take a story. It's not gonna be fast, but um, <laughs> I went on a date, and it was kind of going bad. Like I didn't wanna, I didn't wanna kiss the guy. It was a little weird. So I did something that was so bad. It was in a concert, but. He wouldn't leave me alone, and I was saying like, no, thank you, It's really, this is really fun, but he would just like still keep pushing. So I said, I'm gonna go to the bathroom really quick. I got my purse and all the important things that I needed from the purse. I gave him the purse and I was like, can you watch it please? And then I just left. <gasps> I know, isn't that awful? No, I you gotta so do bad. what you gotta do, but that's clever with the asking to watch the purse, but taking the long Yeah, sneaky. I know, I, I felt so bad, I felt so bad. Honestly, it's just like, I, ne I would never do something like this. I love communicating and like, but I said a thousand times that I didn't want anything, and this yeah. person was like really trying and it. so invasive. So I was like, I'm just gonna, you know, leave. Peace out. <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do, girl. Okay. I couldn't live without blank. I couldn't live without music. Definitely. Easy. Love music. Wake up, play music. Go to sleep, play music. Get ready, play music. Oh, the best. I love that. Okay. My ultimate goal in life is inspire people. Definitely. I think um, artists in general have this, like we get this gift to be given to people. You know, I think we have the ability to speak to them uh, in a deeper level. That's what art does, you know? So I definitely want um, to change them and actually touch them with my music or with whatever I do. So inspire them. That is beautiful. Let's go back in time because you didn't originally come from LA. You grew up in Brazil mm -hmm. and you fell in love with singing through your aunt. Is that the story? I mean, you've yeah. had such a crazy journey to get to where you are. What What was the first time that you were like, this is it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a pop star? Um, I think the first time that I knew that I was gonna work with music in general, I, I was never like, I'm a pop star, like from the beginning, I was just like, music is gonna be part of my life the re for forever. Yeah. Uh, it was the first time I went on the stage, actually. I think music was always there. Uh -huh. uh, like my family was always listening to music, my grandpa was always in the guitar, um, my parents were listening to samba and pop stars like Rihanna and Beyonce, so I always, I've always seen it and I would love to just like repeat the movements and like mm -hmm. sing the songs and eventually when my aunt started teaching me more for like fun because she kind of heard me singing and she was like, oh, she has potential, you know, and she was like, yeah, she's like, oh, okay, okay, those notes are right. She just started teaching me a little bit and then she put me in this like summer, like summer thing, like yeah. summer course for yeah. um, musical theater and I got to sing the solo song. Um, in the in the show that they have at the end of the month and that was the first time I went on stage and it was so like crazy the feeling was so crazy I felt like so right that the planets were lined up my <laughs> everything I was like this is it I want to do this for the rest of my life and I never stopped after that I went for a first job and the second and third and never stopped and here you are how old were you when that happened when that happened I was probably about like seven eight Oh, yeah, it was so really cute. little. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but you always were like pretty, I feel like, driven because I know the mm -hmm. story goes that you were actually too young to audition for Now United, but you were like, I'm oh, doing yeah. this anyways. That's a lot of confidence for what, you were 14 <laughs> at the time? Yeah, I was always like too young to audition to pretty much everything I've ever <laughs> done. Like all of the jobs that I got, I was probably not fit for the part. Like my first job was um, Young Nala and the Lion King when the Broadway version came to Brazil. Casual. And, <laughs> and I was actually too tall for the part, but still I went there and I still got the part. And when I did Moana, the voice of Moana was also like, 16 and up for yeah. the audition and I was 13 and I got the part and same for Night United. I, I was just turning 14 and it was 16 um, to 19, the age gap. Yeah, and yeah. I was just like, you know what? These producers are gonna be here and I want them to see me and maybe they'll just put me on something else. Yeah. And I got the job. So, and you got the job. Yeah, so like I, I learned that if I put myself out there, 
doesn't matter if I'm a little too tall or if I'm too a little young. too young. Yeah. It might work out, you know? Like, you just gotta try. That is yeah. honestly, I feel like, really good, like, advice just for people watching. Yeah. Like, if you see something you wanna do, you should go for it, because look where you are. Exactly. I mean, there's a chance that you get the no, and, yeah. but there's a chance you get the yes, so what? Just go for it, you know?